In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a free business email address to use with the Power BI. So you can share your reports through the Power BI service. Normally, Power BI requires a business or educational email, which can be hassle if you don't already have one. But I found a loophole. Let's you create a free business email without needing to buy a domain or pay for a business email also. So I will guide you step by step through the process using a Microsoft 365. So you can set up your own email and start using Power BI in your time. So let's start by searching Microsoft 365. Then go to the subscription offer, the second one. And for this one, go to your for business. plan and the price. Now, once you got it in this page, it's asking for a different type of plan available in this website. So we are going to go with the first one and we are not going to pay anything to the Microsoft 365. But just click on the five free for one month. Now it's asking for the email ID. Let's keep the email ID. Things. And then it's asking for you to set up an account or change email ID. So we are going to go with the set up email account. Now fill up your all the details. And yes. Section is asking to check whether the number is uh, valid or not. So you will receive a OTP in your mobile phone. Now once you verify your email ID, it's asking for the username and the domain name. You can create your own username and the domain name as well. So let's create a new one, Naveed. Ivy Pro Power BI. So what will happen, let me do a small later. Now what will happen, your new email ID will be what? So for example, so then your new email ID will be Naveed. At the rate ivpro.powerbi and the last domain name which you have, which is called ownmicrosoft.com. Okay, so this is the new email ID which we are getting from the website. Now, let's create a password. I'm save now. Once you have uh, click on the next option, it will try to create a new account. It's asking for the payment now. We won't give any payment, okay. It's Previously, we have just created your, our account. So we are not going to pay any amount to the Microsoft. So what will happen? We will go to the Power BI services online. Power BI services. Click on the continue. Let's select the region. Give us phone numbers. Then I click on the next, get started. So it says thanks for uh, it's saying thanks for signing up for the Microsoft Firebit Three. Your username is this one. So let's call it, click on the get started. Now once you have successfully logged into the Microsoft Fabric, open your Power BI. Next up. We are going to click on the sign in option. So remember the email ID that we have created, just copy and paste over here. Click on the continue. Give your email ID. Next, give the password. Sign in, click on OK.
So you are all set. Click on done. As you can see, now I got the Power BI account in my software. So now once you got in the Power BI service, you can upload your Power BI reports and your dashboard. So I hope you like the video. Follow for more.